Mikhail, just <coughs> just in terms of the, of the timing um, of the announcement this morning, obviously you don't know which European competition you're, you're going to be in, but yourself and people at the club maybe have to look at the bigger picture. So getting the contract signed and, and sorted when you don't know, for example, whether you're going to be in the Champions League, does that mm. show to everyone, to you know, players here, players who might come in, that you're... It's just a total confidence that the club is going in the I think from everybody, from the club perspective, there is still this uncertainty of what we're going to do. But they still want me to be here, regardless of what happens. From my side, I don't use any timing, any power, uh, whether I am in Conference League or Europa League or I am in the Champions League, uh, to be asking for something different. And, uh, and at least we can find a lot of clarity uh, with the plan that we want to execute together with the club. Can it just maybe have a galvanising effect ahead of these last few games as well? Maybe just just you know send that message as well to the players about you know the strength of the group and. Well, from my point of view, if I do it, is because I feel the right level of chemistry, trust, and belief from ownership. Um, because I have the staff and the players that they are always behind us, and uh, and because we have some supporters that they have shown me once again um, their love and their support. So when you have all those ingredients, uh, the decision then is is very easy. Just lastly, um, in, in light of the game next week, obviously as, as the derby has got closer, obviously everyone knows what's potentially going to be riding on it. Your team obviously pulled out three successive wins in, in, in difficult games. I just, I just wonder what does that tell you and what have you taken from that in terms of seeing their ability to produce those results under pressure because as the derby gets closer, mm. the pressure rises as well. Well, the maturity, the resilience and obviously the quality and the capacity that the team is finding now uh, to compete at the highest level under pressure and under difficult circumstances and when you are in the edge how you respond to that and um, and it's been brilliant. Mikael, um, it's a slightly personal question yeah. um, but I hope you don't mind it shows uh, the philosophy of the club. Is your contract heavily incentivized or is it a basic rate contract or is basically your success tied in with the club's success? <laughs> <laughs> I want to respond to your question. It is incentivized because obviously whatever we are able to do has a, an impact in what the club can do, and I think it's very fair. I mean, is it heavily? Is that one of the core things that you want? You know, rewards to come for, for performance. Is it yes, there is. Of? There is a, a a part on that. Yes. And Mark, finally, Mark. And we'll know you, Terry. No more personal <laughs> question. <laughs> we'll know you, Terry, about sending Everton down on the last day. Yeah. Um, tomorrow or Sunday, you can sort of give them a bit of a help by pushing Leeds further into trouble. I know hmm. you're not looking to do people favours, but obviously you can help yourself. No, because as well, uh, then you start to to touch the a uh, really different uh, topic and I don't want to do that we want to win football matches and whatever the consequences in the league are what they are there are, I've been myself in position where you have nothing to play in the last day and you're playing against a team in relegation but your duty and responsibility is to win the match and and you cannot just look too far on that I mean, will you, presume you'll be watching Tottenham tomorrow I mean there's a fair chance you could yeah, by the end of this week there's a possibility you could be five points clear going into the derby game is that something that the players are sort of thinking of, or can you not think about that? Obviously, when you get to the last few matches, not to start doing the maths, it's a, it's a, a difficult task. But uh, my advice to them, and the same one that I take normally, is is not to do them because you rarely get them right. So let's focus on what we have to do on Sunday. Thank you. Okay, finally we go to 10.30.